Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Saint Valentine's tutorial, this time for these fine hearts seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm providing a free pattern and even if you are not familiar with the brick stitch that I'm using, I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Consider subscribing with the bell, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals that you like my work and you wanna see more of it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of Mayuki Delica beads, silver, black and red. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is a free pattern that I provide and I will post it on my Facebook so you will be able to see it. And uh, here I use size 11 beading needle. Uh, you could also use size 12 if you want and these are scissors and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on, on my needle which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm gonna be using this pattern to make my heart earrings and uh, I want to tell you that these yellow beads around the edge are in fact the silver beads. I did them in yellow color to be more, more visible on camera, but in fact I'm going to use silver instead. So I'm going to start first with these two silver beads or yellow on my pattern. Okay, and as I said, I picked those two silver beads. I'm going to slide those down. And I will go through one of those silvers in this direction. Okay, here I'm going to leave a small tail and later I will put my needle on it and finish my work. Okay, and how I want to arrange these beads, I want them next to each other, touching side to side and the holes pointing in this direction, as you may see. So, as I said, this is the first row of two beads that I'm doing and then I need to do the next row which consists of silver, black, silver. And I'm going to take a silver and a black and I'm going to continue this work with the brick stitch. How I do this? You see here I have a thread bridge between those two beads that are next to each other. And what I want to do is to go with my needle under this thread bridge, but I'm also holding the other thread, uh, the tail thread with my thumb, not to get loose. And now as I added those beads, I want to go through the bead which is closer to the center. In this case, it is the black one. Then I'm going to take another silver bead and I go under the same thread bridge that I've been through. It is only one thread bridge, so I'm going under it again one more time, this time with one bead. And this one bead is the silver bead. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry, because I will show it really easy and you will be able to do this by yourself. Okay, and then I want to consult with my pattern again. And here it comes silver two blacks and silver. And when I make brick stitch guys, I always start with two beads. In this case with silver and a black. Okay, and I go here, this time I have two thread bridges and I go through the first one of them. Why I go through the first and not through the second? Well, because I'm increasing the brick stitch and in the next row I have more beads than in the previous row. And then I do the same thing. I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work, which is the black one, and I pull. Then I'm taking another black bead and I go in the next thread bridge. Only in the first step I add two beads, then I add them one by one. Okay, add a black one and go back. Then I need to add a silver because I said 
silver, two blacks and a silver. This is what I saw from my pattern. So here I need one more silver to finish this row. And I'm going backwards through this silver. Okay. I'm taking my pattern again this time. And this time I need silver, black, red, black, silver. And I'm starting from here and I will start again with a silver and a black. In this work, guys, I'm going to be starting with silver and black all the time. And now because I'm increasing, I have more beads in the next row. I'm going under the first thread bridge. And then I'm going back through the bead, which is closer to the center of my work. After that, according to my pattern, I need a red bead. I'm adding it here. And then a black and a silver. Black and next thread bridge. Silver and the same thread bridge that I've been through with the black one because I don't have any more thread bridges. But according to my pattern, I need to add one more bit here. Okay. And I'm taking my pattern again, and here I need a silver, a black, two reds, a black and a silver. Okay, always start with a silver and a black. Go under the first thread bridge because I increase. Go through the black one here. And this time my pattern says that I need two reds in the center. So I'm taking one red. Going back like this. One more red. And going back like this. And then a black and a silver. Okay, my friends, and now I think you got the idea and now you could follow your pattern by yourself until you reach here the widest row because up to here it is increasing brick stitch that I showed you. Okay, I'll do off camera the rows from here where I have three uh, red beads in the center up to here where the, the widest row is and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. So pause on this video and absolutely the same way make all the rows up to here okay my friends and as i told you i did three more rows and now i'm up to here up to the widest part of my heart okay you see this part and now i'm going to start this row that i'm pointing to i'm starting it with a silver and a black then red black silver black red black and silver so the silver and the black part are the same but this time pay attention because i'm decreasing which means in the next row i have less beads than in the previous one and when i take those two i go under the second thread bridge not this one between the silver and the black but the next one between the black and the red okay and after that what i need to do is to reinforce because you see those beads don't sit straight because they're stretching as they're going under the second thread bridge and that is why i need to go one more time through them and when i pull they start sitting straight and now i'm going to continue this until the end okay i'm taking a red one and I'm going under the next thread bridge. Then I take a black.
and I will continue faster adding beads according to my pattern. And here guys, at my last thread bridge I'm adding only one bead this time because as I said I'm decreasing so I don't need to add one more bead, okay? Then I will do another decreasing row. This one uh, I will do this row here which consists of silver, two blacks, two silvers, two blacks and silver always start with a silver and a black and when you decrease always go under the second thread bridge here you see between the black and the red pull and another thing you do when you decrease and go under the second thread bridge is that you reinforce because your beads stretch and they need to be reinforced to stay nice and tight and I will add those beads until the end according to my pattern And as I said guys, here at my last step I'm adding only one bead. Again guys, I'm taking my pattern and I'm up to this row that has a hole in the center. And I'm starting from this side and I'm going to take a silver and a black. Okay. And again... I'm going under the second thread bridge because I decrease here and again reinforcement so I'm adding one more silver here Okay, then I want to take my pattern again and you see it finishes here with two silvers and I will add them now. Take them like this and again I'm going under the second thread bridge of those two thread bridges that I have here because I decrease and again what I do is that I reinforce it this here then in my next step guys I want to transfer to the other side of my work okay go through these three silvers and zigzag and exit through this one then I can take my pattern again, although it is clear what you should do, it is the same like here. And as I'm exiting from this silver here, I need to add a silver and a black. Okay. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going under the second thread bridge counting from this silver bead. The second one between the two blacks. Then I go back through the black one, through the silver 
and through the black one. And what I need to do is to add last this silver. And I'm here. But after that, guys, I need two silver beads. And I'm going under the second thread bridge. There are only two thread bridges, but still I'm following the rule to go through the second one of them. And after that, I'm reinforcing. Okay, and now I'm taking two black beads, my earring finding, and two black beads. And as I'm exiting from this silver, I go through all of those silvers and pull. Then I go back again through all of those silvers to reinforce. Okay, then I could zigzag through my work and cut my thread or I could even make a small knot before I cut it or a combination of both. Okay, let's say I'm here and I want to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making a loop. I'm going through this loop I've made. I'm pulling. Then I want to zigzag, guys, through my beads a little bit, like that. Then like that, and I'm cutting this tail thread, okay? Now I'll put my needle here on this side and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I just added uh, needle to this part of my work, to this tr tail thread, and I'm taking one silver bead, and as I'm exiting from one of those silvers, I want to add this bead and go through the other one. Then what I do is that I reinforce this joint by going one more time through it. And then through some beads in this direction. And here again, guys, what I could do is to make a simple knot, making a loop, going through this loop, pulling, then zigzagging a little bit. And when I feel that there is enough zigzagging, I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my really fine St. Valentine's Day hearts are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. Also, please like, share and comment. In this way, you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page that you will find under this video and support me in PayPal by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.